Molly awakes with a start. It's a fine Sunday morning, but Guac, her husband, isn't up yet. She looks around the kitchen, the beautiful blue walls in her home of the Cranstein's kitchen, and she decides to visit her bestest friend in the whole world, Mr. Butter. They talk about their childhood memories in the refrigerator. And then Guac awakes, and they take a very pleasant walk along the avenue to none other than the Fine Arts Museum of Avocado History and Art. There, all of the art about avocados in history is housed. They admire the beautiful texture and amazing figures of their ancestors. But then they come across a most hideous and horrifying picture of the ultimate sacrifice. The fate that all avocados know they are destined for eventually. Guacamole. A mysterious man, a human being, starts to check his watch behind them. They are about to leave when a man in a spacesuit comes and grabs Guac from Molly's side. California tortilla! Da -na -da 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 -da. <sighs> Molly's heard of these people. They take innocent avocados' lives just to be made into guacamole for their own tasting pleasure. No! Guac, don't leave me! Molly cries. But it's too late. The space shuttle is already taking off. And on the moon, the man from Caltort enjoys what used to be guac with the corn chip. This story teaches us that there is a human desire, a human need, a human craving built into each and, one, each and every one of us that we will not stop until we get our guacamole. Love is pretty when love is new Like a blushing rose in a dazzling dew Intoxicate